Hey guys, I'm here today to talk about how you play Dark RP. I haven't really been able to find a good video on how you play Dark RP. So uh, I'm here with Shub Nigirath, he's a friend of mine, and the Pharaoh. And we are on Obsidian Gaming. I personally like this server, it's really fun. When it gets busy, there's a lot of people. Um, Dark RP is a game mode for Gary's Mod 13, and it's really fun in my opinion. You have a lot of jobs. The default button to pick your jobs is F4. You have all these jobs. There's civil protec protection, which once they vote yes, I can become this job. So I get a stun stick, a glock, a rest baton, so I can just I can hit people and they get arrested. Uh, do you mind if I arrest you, Jacob? No, sir. I do. So I arrested him for 120 seconds. I have an unarrest baton, which is exactly what it sounds like. It unarrest people. Yeah, I can hear. You. So this is where arrested people go. I'm here to unarrest him. So he's unarrested now. Um, keys, if you go to your second column um, and you go to keys, if you look at a door, it says unowned, press reload, so R with keys. So, or uh, F2 to own. So if you buy it, it says owned by your name now anybody can open these if you don't lock them um, so if let's say I want this fine man to own one of my doors I go up with keys click F2 add owner and then I click his name and if he goes up and he buys the door then he can open and unlock the doors so, Jake, you can buy this one if you want. Um, so, to lock a door, if you own it, you just left click on it, and people can't get in. Um, Jake, come knock on the door real quick with your hands. That's what people do with keys if you d they don't own the door. Now, to unlock it, you right click, and then anybody can open the door. So civil protection, there's a mayor, you pretty much protect him and follow the rules, arrest anybody that's not following the rules. And I, this is a weapon checker, it tells you if they have weapons, so they have an admin keypad, keypad checker, battering ram, arrest baton, unarrest baton, stun stick, and weapon checker. Um, he has, he has no weapons. He's, he's a learner. Um, so that's pretty much all you do for civil protection. Citizen is what you spawn in as. You don't have anything special. Your salary is down at the bottom left. It's $45. It'll say your job and wallet is 610 So I have $610 in my inventory. Um, citizen, you don't really do anything. You just run around. Alright, and then there's gangster it says right here if the job has extra weapons or not you can pick your model um, so this pretty much you work for the mob boss and you don't get anything special again with the gangster mob boss however which they tell the gangsters what to do which I need to wait for a second uh, mob bosses get an unarrest baton so let's say somebody in their gang gets arrested they can just go in lockpick it with their lockpick and unarrest them and to do that you just walk up to the door and hit it left click and it'll say picking lock um, and then just look away to stop picking it after that there's medic so see how he has 90 health it says under his name you left click and his health goes up to 100. He's 
at 100 health, so he doesn't do anything. Other than that, the medic doesn't come with any other special weapons. Um, then there's civil protection chief, which is the same thing as civil protection, but they're chief, obviously. And then there's mayor. Um, they, as mayor does, runs the town. So, you don't really get anything special here, but you can place warrants. You can... Attention. You can initiate a lockdown. Everybody has to go in their house. Confirm your civil status with local protection team immediately. Alright, and that's pretty much what I do as mayor. Because after that I get shot and can't really do anything. Hobo. As the name says, you're a hobo. You get bug bait and you can throw it at people. And... Yeah, it, it's pretty much just the, a class where you can just run around and troll people. I know it gets on my nerves pretty bad. And then there's a heavy gun dealer, which, as the name says, is a gun dealer. If you go to F4 and then shipments, you can get all these guns and you can sell them, which I don't have enough for any of them right now because it's heavy gun dealer and I only have 600 bucks. Um... And then there's light gun dealer. So, oh, he just popped. Oh yeah. Hey, thanks for reminding me. If you have your keys out and you're not looking at a door, you can left click and bow. Hold on, let's see if they have a camera. All right. So let's see. So, yeah, you do actions that's pretty much that um... let's see what was I on light gun dealer so what were you All right. so if you go to F4 and shipments this is the simple stuff so let's see if you go to F4 and you buy this it takes two hundred dollars out of your wallet and it spawns this crate which you have to wait for it to load in um, click E on the crate and the gun will drop now most of the time you just walk over your gun but on dark RP you have to click your activation button on the gun and then you get a gun um, now let's say Jake sell me a gun any gun for 400 bucks. Take my money. Sell me a Colt. Just, just say you're gonna sell me a Colt. All right. Oh, you don't. All right. Well, let's say he's trying to sell a Colt for 400 dollars. To drop money, you just simply type "drop money" slash "drop money" and then space and the desired amount. And then, as you see, your wallet goes down. However much it is he can pick up the money and now he can afford a Colt 1911 and how these say single that means they just come in one gun you get one spaz 12 these you get 10 so you get 10 spaz 12s for 6500 and once he sold me that I can oh if people didn't take it um, Drop, drop the weapon real fast, Jake. I'm gonna drop it back to you. All right. Well, it doesn't look like he's doing it. So, oh wait, is he? Yes, he is. All right. So, let's say I have this gun, and I want to drop it to give it to a friend. You type slash drop weapon. and then you drop the weapon that you're currently holding and that's pretty much that um... let's see there's a guard which is you can read it's just you guard things as the name says so i can guard him he tries to attack i can kill him um... and then there's 
a drug dealer. I tried this once and I got arrested for having weed. So don't post a giant billboard that says I have weed because cops will come and arrest you. I made that mistake the first time I was a drug dealer. So let's see, I don't think I have enough for anything. I have aspirin bottle, which um let's see. Uh yeah, please. Thank you. So, I can buy pretty much everything now. Um, let's get weed. You can see right here it says amount 10. That means there's 10 bags of weed. Alright, so. Weed for you. Uh, Some good shit, man. Weed for you. And weed for me. Now, as as you can see, I'm using my gravity gun. As you see, I can't pick it up with my physics gun, so I have to use my gravity gun and right-click it to pick it up. Um, so you can click your activation button on the weed, and now you see doubles. Um, let's see. You get some aspirin. If you want to move your crates, you just do the same thing. It looks like somebody stole my weed. Jacob. Jacob stole my weed. Well, you can just pick it up and you can move it around. Here's aspirin. Which I, I actually have no clue what aspirin does, but I'm going to take it. Oh! I died of overdose, so yeah, don't do that. Apparently, two aspirin and one weed will kill you. And I teleported. Thank you. Um, now the next thing is Secret Service. Protect the mayor at all costs. So, yeah, mayor, you protect him. So, as it says in the thing, most of the time, if it's something with guarding it you have to make a vote and people vote you in so you get guns all of that you protect the mayor um there's a terrorist leader he gets an unarrest baton so he can run and unarrest people terrorist which obviously works for the terrorist leader a thief which gets a keypad cracker and a lock pick so where are you jake um can you put down a keypad and make it a code for anything and I'll crack it. So I'm using the keypad cracker on this keypad and once that's finished it should tell me the code. It'll give me access. Yeah, it usually just opens the door over here. And now I got access granted. I'll show you guys what I use keypads for here in a second. Um, then there's Hitman. So, let's say I get voted in for Hitman. Um, and he wants to place a hit on Shub, for instance. And $500 to kill Shub. I got $500. Now to set the price for people, it's normally $200 to start out with. Just type slash hit price and then the amount that you want. So I can lower it to 10 bucks. And now when people want to get a hit it's 10 bucks um there's a bartender which i don't go with bartenders because I, I just don't do stuff like that i don't see the point in bartenders if you got a drug dealer um now if you go to f4 and go to miscellaneous you can see there's printers and let's say i want to get a quartz printer i hit that and now it's 
obviously you can hear it you can hear it making noise um, so when it says 10 if you click E on it you get 20 bucks from it well it set one up to 20 but cops will arrest you if you have these so yeah don't let them hear it because that won't work out very good for you um, again you can't pick it up with your physics gun but how it says 10 now at the bottom right it says you have collected ten dollars um, now let's see that's pretty much all the jobs um, you can buy your ammo here too shipments is gray because I'm a hitman can't buy anything any guns so um, Jake, let's go to that shop that we normally go to for being gun dealers, and we can show them how we normally set it up. Yeah, I like this one because it has a window you can sell guns through. Would you like me to set up the door? Uh, yeah, you can set up one of them. I'm gonna set up one for um, showing them what I use it for. So you can do like the fence outside or something if you want. So buy this. Um, give them ownership. Alright, and I normally keep my shipments of guns up here just because it's harder for people to get up here if you have um, security all the way up here. So, yeah. Alright. All right. I think. Are you an admin? Can you teleport? Oh, all right. yeah. I would explain why. You just like fly up to the ground. All right. Um, so make sure the owner is over. So oh, that's cool. I'm gonna play on the server. The server seems really cool. Does he? It gets pretty busy. I'm guessing. Yeah, it does. Right. We just started uh, yesterday and gets pretty yeah, popular. So there's one dark RP server with like 48 people on it. I was like, nope. Not doing that. I just I didn't do that. Yeah, All right. So what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, I was gonna show them the window downstairs. So the reason I like this, always make sure you buy these because people will buy them and lock them, so you can't do business. So let's say it's like that. Um, let's see. You want to go around front and act like you're buying something. Sure. Um, so let's say I'm giving him a Beretta for, I'll just charge you five bucks. So all he would have to do is put five bucks in here and then you can close it. When you close that one, this one opens. Um, whoop, I bought a shipment and I can take his money put the gun in there and then close it and he can have access to the gun. That's helpful because it also doesn't give anybody a fair shot to shoot at you. And as you can see, he can't shoot me through the window if he were to try. Um and alright, keypad. So let's see if he's got it up here. No. Alright, well well kinda. So let's say you want to make sure nobody can get up these stairs. Um, you would put a door up. Now in most dark RP servers it's against the rules to prop block so you can't just put a door here, a gate here and then not give people a chance to get through it. So I normally weld mine to the ground just so people can't pick it up. If you go down here there's normally a fading door. Yeah, fading door. And I make my toggle the keypad insert, so zero on the keypad. Now if I click that and I click zero, it goes on and off. Well, fades, so I can walk through it. Now that's not fair to people trying to get in, because they can't get in without you letting them in. That's prop blocking. So that's where the keypad comes in, where it says access granted. You put the same button in that you used for your fading door. Let's say we want to make our passcode one, two, three, four. 
and then we place it here. Now whenever I click one, two, three, four, hold on, let's make that not hidden. So if I click one, two, three, four, the code right there, and I click enter, that turns off. Now that's still not fair because if it's if it's like this, they can't hack into it. So you have to put another one on the outside, plus you can't get in without one. So you click it here, so now they have a chance to hack it and get in. And that's pretty much all I do to do security for my uh, stores. Um, let's see, anything else you guys can think of? Oh uh, yeah, I was going to show them how you can set up a gun shop if somebody already owns this one. So... Let's go in here. So let's say you, you have to do this. Um, this building for your gun shop. You can spawn this and not kill yourself with it. But you can just put it up on the desk and weld it. Hold on. And now you can slide guns through here, but people can get a good shot at you. So you can um, you can put this up here. I found this out yesterday. I had to do with a different gun shop because that one was taken. You can put that up here. And then another one up here. Alright, so there's that. Oh, forgot to weld that one. Alright, so now you want to make a fading door right there. So you want to make them different keys, because if they're both one on the keypad, when you go to put a gun in here, you don't want them to be able to shoot you, but if you click one, both of them disappear. So make just make it one and two or something. So now one is open, and if you don't want them to just shoot you around here, just put up a big wall or something so they can't, can't get you. So Jake, if you would put $5 in here. I will sell you a gun. So it's just like that other one except you have to manually open and close it. So he puts his money in, close the outside one, open this one, take his money and drop the weapon that you want to give him. And he never has a clear shot at me because I'd have barriers up here. Um, something I forgot to show about the cell doors, if you use it for your fading door, if you go to material, and you pick any material, so let's say I pick green, I can do that, and as you see, you can't see through the bars, but if you go around to the other side, you can see through it just fine. So let's say I want to put it here, which don't put it here because then the door can't close. And that's just, that's not cool. Um, so let's go three. So now I can see through the bars. I can see people trying to get in. And if I'm telling them not to come in and they're still trying to hack, uh, I'll just kill them. But let's say I'm the person trying to get in. I can't see that somebody's staring at me unless they do that and shove their hand through the, the wall. So not a good idea because, I don't know, I'll just, I'll shoot you. Um, that's pretty much it. Can you guys think of anything? Um, pretty much covered it all. Shop, can you think of anything? Can you think of anything else we didn't cover? Alright. Um, so, that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, Obsidian Gaming, I personally love this server. I think it's a lot of fun. And people don't seem to break the rules as much on this one 
as on most of the other dark RP servers that I've played on. Um, so it's a lot of fun. Uh, thanks for watching. And if you like this video, please subscribe. That'd help a lot. Um, I'm going to have Shub in a lot of my videos. He's a real close friend of mine. And I'll probably have him in a lot of my videos. He's a pretty cool guy. Um, thanks for watching.